Back to Good Day Atlanta. We are live on the weather deck, or as I'm trying to get it renamed, the food deck, or the burger deck, or the pizza deck, because yeah. we do a lot more than weather out here. I'm here with uh, the guys from Under the Cork Tree. This is Jason. This is William. We're talking about making pizza on your grill in the right. backyard, something I didn't know was possible. I thought you would have to have some kind of pizza stone or special equipment. No, That's not no. the case. No, this is how you really impress your guests and your family, too. You know, you don't have to have a $20,000 wood oven in your backyard. All you need is a is a gas grill or a charcoal grill and, and you're making pizza. It's I easy. love it. All right, well, let's talk yeah. about it. It okay. starts with the dough, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, dough, uh, you know, you can make your own dough or or you can go to Publix or even Whole Foods has it. You okay. just go to the bakery and say, hey, I want some pizza dough or just stop by, you know, local pizza shop and, you know, throw them a couple bucks. They'll give you some dough and and, and come on home. And, and all you got to do is roll it out, roll it out however you want. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly round like mine. I'm, you know, you use a wine bottle as a as a rolling pin. I any, noticed there's anything, a couple of those out here. You just got to do what works for you. And then, so once you get the you know the dough all rolled out the way you like it, um, you want to just brush it with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And I'm just stay out of your way. You want? Yeah. So what we do is we take some some fresh basil and some extra virgin olive oil, and mm. we just kind of puree it with some garlic in the blender. Okay. And then you just brush it. That makes me feel like it's healthy too. Yeah, and of course, if you say extra virgin olive oil, it immediately yeah, means extra you're, virgin, you're just yeah. just eating well. So, um, so that's all you do, okay? And then okay. I just roll it out on the back of a sheet tray, and then open your grill up. Oh wow! Boom. All right, how long are we leaving Close it out there? Um, it depends on how hot your grill is. You just want to watch it. Um, you know, it shouldn't take more than three or four minutes. And then what you want to do once you get the dough kind of nice and crispy like this okay. on both sides is then pull the, dough, pull the dough out and then put your toppings on. All right, what are okay. we going to top it with? Well, today we're going to do my favorite, which is just a simple margarita. Okay. And um, so all we do is just take some San Marzano tomatoes, you know, just some canned tomatoes. We don't even cook these. We just take them and we smash them up with a little fresh basil and garlic. You can use your hands. It can be chunky. It mm. can be pureed. Um, the, the key to to making this pizza nice and crispy is don't go overboard with the toppings. You want to just you know just just less is more kind of theory. Okay. All right. So then um, I subscribe to that. Yeah. <laughs> then just take some fresh basil leaves and just tear them up with your hands. Throw them on. Easy. Uh, now, Jason, what goes well uh, with pizza here? It looks like you guys well, have some we other Well, we brought some good wines. Chef William and I like uh, we we like the ziti. We like this nice little uh, tempered neo. Uh, we enjoy a good glass of wine, you know, mm -hmm. after the shift. And we also brought some of our sangria that we're known for at Under the Cork Tree. Tell so me about the restaurant. I, I haven't been there yet. Tell me about it. So, uh, Under the Cork Tree is Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. uh, we do tapas, Spanish tapas, lots of paella, uh, getting great wine selection, uh, an awesome patio. So, when we've got nice weather, the place is packed. All right. Through the magic of television, do we have one ready to go? Because I'd like to give it a try. Is that, is that we possible? Have one ready to go. So, all you do is you flip your, flip your dough okay. like I just did. Then you put your toppings on, All right. and then slide it back in, and close it up. And once again, how long are we leaving yeah, it this time? Maybe like three or four minutes. And what, what temp are we doing this at again? Um, with this, this is reading about 450. So you know, if you got a big green egg, you could even go higher than that. So um, you don't even need the pizza stone on the green egg. No, no. Man, that'll yeah. save you a few dollars there too. Yeah, right. So I mean, this is how you do it. And you just pull it off just like this. Just grab your little spatula. And okay. Boom. Done. I'm sold. Right. Perfect breakfast. Your, your instant pizza sensation. All right. Let's see what we got. House. And then you don't have to even have to have one of these special mm. knives, but Are you jealous at least just a little bit or Oh absolutely. <laughs> you better bring me a piece. Joanne wants one too, so does Caitlin. Well there's not enough for everybody here. There's only one small little pizza, ladies. Here we go. What do we call this? Is the margarita, right? This is the margarita. All right, here the we go. Classic. That was a big bite. Wow. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Fold it, it in half. Fold it. Fold it in half. Oh my okay. god. How is it? Good. Oh, there we go. That's what we were waiting How is for. It? It's excellent. Very well. We really do want some of that, but go ahead and come back in. We'll be right back. For today's recipe or more on Under the Cork Tree, you can use the Fox 5 Atlanta app. Just look for the viewer information story. Looks delicious. Let's check in with meteorologist Joanne Feldman in the Fox 5 Storm Center. Joanne, yeah. you got to stop drooling. Oh, you, right. You're on TV now. Well, yes. okay, the truth comes out in the commercial breaks because when he was telling me he was taking up my space out on there on the Fox 5 weather deck, he said it's not a cooking segment, it's an eating segment. Uh, of course. Of yeah. course. Well, we're not in here eating. <laughs>